There's a really big myth out there and it's about the windshield wiper forehand. A lot of coaches online and on the courts are talking about this windshield wiper forehand and teaching it to players and they're doing it the wrong way. My name is Jeff Salzenstein, founder of Tennis Evolution, former top 100 pro and USTA high performance coach. And I don't want you to struggle with your windshield wiper forehand anymore. I wanna give you a proper solution and what I believe is the right way to help you with this shot. So let's get to that lesson right now. All right, so I need to break down a myth for you, tear it down and then give you a solution. We're gonna talk about the myth of the windshield wiper forehand. So the windshield wiper forehand is a forehand that you can use when you need to get the ball up and down quickly. So if the ball is low and you really need to get the ball up and down, you can use this quick kind of windshield wiper finish. But before we get to that, and before we get to that on specific shots, shots that are probably closer to the net where you have to get it up and down quickly, I want you to learn better ball control and feel. And in another video, what we talked about was this concept of what goes up must come down. With the first move, we talked about the racket tip up, and then that allows the racket head to drop before contact. We're gonna talk about a similar, well, a different concept with the same saying. So what comes up most must come down. When people think that they're gonna be doing the windshield wiper forehand to get more topspin, they swing across and they finish low. Now that will only work when you need to get the ball up and down, when it's really low, and you need to get it up and down quickly, or if the ball is high, you can swing across. But on a regular ground stroke where you wanna to get topspin, I want you to feel like you swing up first and you really get that racket up, that racket tip up like this before you come down. And this is the part that people miss because when you don't do this, you miss out on extension. So again, if you need to get the ball up and down, you can do this once in a while. But if you really want ball control and extension, you've gotta go up, so that, you notice how that racket tip is way above my head, and then you bring it down at the end. So you literally could go up, and then you could stay up and finish over the shoulder, or you could go up and bring it down. So watch what that looks like. Okay, so you see how the racket's going up first, and then I'm bringing it down towards the pocket. But it doesn't go down to the pocket quickly, right? It takes a long time. I'm going up, and then I'm here, and then I bring it down. And that's because I'm catching the racket. That helps me to catch it here and bring it down slowly. Watch if I go really fast with a windshield. Okay, that's what I see people doing. They're just going across and whipping really fast. And it's a different sound. You're, you don't have the same control and you gotta catch it just perfect. And again, when you do that, you gotta do it on a specific ball. Okay, this is more a general ball where you want feel, you go up, and then you go down. What goes up must come down. Okay, so that's how you can develop that ball control and you can get rid of that concept of the windshield wiper and focus more on turning the hand, letting the racket going up and then turning the hand and finishing down by the pocket if you want to. Now that you've learned what you have to do to avoid making that windshield wiper myth on your forehand, I want you to get out on the courts and try it out. Now, before you go today, I wanna to make sure that your notifications are turned on so you can be updated on future videos. Give us a thumbs up as well, it'll really help our channel out. But more importantly, I've got a free gift for you today. You see, you've hung around this long, so you've shown your commitment. Many players, they'll watch this lesson and they'll just go about their business and they won't take action. But I don't want you to be one of those players. I want you to take action and get this free gift that I'm going to offer you. And this gift, involves you getting three more forehand myths that almost all players all over the world are making. And I don't want you to make this mis these mistakes anymore. And I want you to have the solution. So if you click the link in the description below or the link somewhere in this video, we're gonna get you those three forehand myths right now along with the solutions. Pretty exciting, right? Go ahead and click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video and we're gonna help you transform your forehand into a weapon. Thanks for your time today. Click the link in the description. We'll see you in the next lesson.